Lim, cardiologist with SLU Care and SSM Health SLU Hospital. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Uh, if we can turn his microphone on, it'd be great. All right. Now, uh, the CDC <laughs> released a report called Winnable Battles. What's this? So uh, the CDC had taken on a, um, a task over the last few years of, of trying to move the bar uh, in population health across the country. And uh, in some ways, you can look at this report as probably the last report uh, of the current uh, leadership group of the CDC because there'll be new leadership with uh, a new president and new government. Right. Uh, but what they've been looking at is uh, things like smoking rates, uh, teen pregnancy rates, uh, childhood obesity, uh, hospital acquired infections, and, and basically trying to partner with states and put these things out there as objectives to say, hey, if we can improve on these things, uh, people are going to live longer across the country. And, and that's obviously the goal. And so this was their last and final report. And it seems like they've made quite a quite some inroads on all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, so uh, smoking rates in adults uh, gone down significantly. Smoking rates in adolescents have gone down. Uh, uh, very, very good things. A um, couple areas of concern. Um, you know, the the hospital inquired infection rates are, are troublesome because uh, these are bad bugs and sick people in right. hospitals. Yeah. And uh, there, there is an awful lot of effort going on in the hospitals in this region as well as across the country trying to decrease those. Uh, those are a tougher nut to crack, probably a longer goal. Uh, but the childhood obesity one hasn't really changed as much as I think um, would translate into good success over the long term. Yeah. Uh, so that one's a little frustrating, too. Actually gone uh, up quite a bit. Yeah, teen, teen pregnancy is down. Smoking is down, as you said. Uh, some of the work to be, you said childhood obesity, food safety, um, HIV infections, which a lot of people are pointing to rural communities and um, the heroin addiction and the needle exchange programs or the lack of them in rural communities as the reason for that as well. But I want to talk about lowering crash deaths. That didn't reach its goal either. And they're saying a distracted driving is the number one reason why. Yeah, so auto accidents certainly uh, impact people's health. Um, at my hospital, we see that every day, um, especially if it rains or snows, um, weather gets bad. Car accidents can be completely devastating. Um, I think, you know, uh, the issue has to be a lot with being a little bit laissez-faire. Yeah. Um, well, know, we, it's it's got to be text messaging we and take, phones. We take a lot of things for yes. granted, and uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that are in our cars now, including our cell phones that we put in there that distract us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no doubt. What is, what is interesting, because uh, I'm guilty of it, I, I'm, I admit, I'm guilty of the text comes along, I read it, I check my phone, whatever, and it's like, put it down. And you, even when, you, when you're good and you put it down, then you drive down the street and you see other people who are on their phones. And you want to honk, you're like, put your phone down. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, this gets into that deal from my standpoint personally of, you know, can you legislate good behavior or, right. or should, should good behavior be a little bit more obvious? Um, one of the things I've always thought of in getting in a car and seeing people text and that type of thing is, you know, there are, there are ways to block cell phone signals or texting um, software. Right. Uh, and a car is, is basically a confined area and you could actually activate uh, a device which would uh, allow all that to be blocked. Right. So when you're in your car, you wouldn't even receive them. Uh, and that would take away any of the uh, ability for you to rely on that or even be distracted by it saying, oh, I wonder if that was so-and-so. If you're driving alone. But if you're driving with somebody, then their phone's blocked too. And they're, they, they, why can't they be on their phone? I mean, it's, it's not an easy answer. Well, you and I are old enough to uh, have lived through a time where there was no texting and worry from a standpoint of when you got in your car, and that's not what we did. Right. Um, <laughs> so it was still kind of cool. Right. Uh, people still wanted to drive. We still got from point A to point B. Um, so, you know, it's possible. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I, it is possible to actually talk to the person you're driving with down the street. I know. Oh, that's I, possible, too. Yeah, yeah, and you can always listen to the radio, you right? Could, you could Imagine listen that. to the radio, yes. <laughs> Uh, and keep it uh, locked into the Big 550 KTRS. Doctor, good stuff, um, as always. Dr. Michael, All right. Lowe, cardiologist at SLU Care and SSM SLU Hospital. Any comments about uh, your Michigan State Wolverines? Where are they going? Well, the Mich Michigan Wolverines are going to Florida. Going to go hang in Miami, playing the Florida, Florida State Seminoles in the Orange Bowl. In the Orange Bowl. In the Orange Bowl. Can't get any better than the Orange Bowl. And it'll be... Uh, Which is not played in the Orange Bowl anymore. Uh, the name of that stadium, I think, changes by the day. <laughs> 
<laughs> and technically it's closer to Fort Lauderdale in Miami. But 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 I mean we got to get rid of all these specifics. Uh, yeah, that's right. De- that's December thirtieth right. should be a good game. Where's Nebraska? Heading? Nebraska's going to the Music City Bowl. There we go. December thirtieth. It's a day game. And little, I was thinking about making a little trip down to Nashville. Little Nash yeah, Vegas sure. action. Yeah, they're playing uh, Tennessee. So the Tennessee Vols. So. That'll be good. Yeah, it should be a fun little game. All right. All right. Good doctor. Good. Have a good week. Thanks for checking in. You got it. Eight 20-